Can you do a commercial style beer bottle photography at your home using a cheap LED bulb and your smartphone's flashlight? So in this video, you will get the answer. What's up everybody, welcome to Dixer. So in this video, we are going to do a commercial style product photography, especially beer bottle photography at your home using a cheap LED bulb with a soft box and your smartphone's flashlight. So I will shoot a Carlsberg beer bottle in this episode. So the basic idea is taking several of photos, highlighting and focusing on different parts of the bottle and stacking them in the Photoshop. Seems little bit difficult, right? So I'll make it easy for you, just stick together. So first I will show you the lighting setups in the behind the scenes and then I will show you the editing process in the Photoshop. So let's get started. So here is the chair and I covered the chair with a black cloth and underneath the bottle I placed a glass plate and for the background I am using a plywood painted completely black. So here you can see the soft box and the light and this is the camera and I mounted my 85mm 1.8 lens on it and the camera is in manual focus and the shutter speed is 1 by 50 the ISO is 160 and the aperture is 2.0 as I am doing all these things by myself, so I need to make sure that every point on the bottle is in focus. So for that I connected this USB cable with my laptop for remote controlling and I can get the live view on my laptop. So on the bigger screen I can make sure that every point is in focus. So here in this picture you can see the different parts of the bottle we need to photograph individually. And first we will start with the level, the main level of the bottle. So I am focusing on the levels here and after focusing I will take a picture. So now we got our levels photo correctly. So for that I place the light at the front of the bottle with 45 degree angle. Now let's move on. So now we need to photograph the lower part, the lower highlighted part of the bottle. So for that I am using this opaque paper on the smartphone's flashlight. So it will soften the overall image a little bit more. And now let's take a picture. So it's looking good. So after taking couple of photos I realized that if I tilt the smartphone's flashlight a little bit, the overall highlighted area will soften up. So I tilted my flashlight a little bit and I took some photos highlighting the lower portion of the bottle. So here you can see some lower parts highlighted photos. So it's looking good I think. So now let's move on the top part of the bottle. So again I place the smartphone's flashlight at a tilted angle and I click couple of photos highlighting the top part of the bottle. So let's see the photos. So now let's move on the neck of the bottle. So I changed my focus on the neck of the bottle from the front side which was the level. So I changed the focus on the neck and using the same method I clicked couple of photos. So now let's see the photos. So these highlighted areas are looking good. Now let's move on to the rim lights. So for that I placed my rim light at the one side of the bottle and I refocused on the side of this bottle and I clicked some photos. So I just moved the light from the left side to the right side and took another photo. So this one is also looking good. So now we want some highlighted edge on the caps of this bottle so I place the light over the setup and change my focus again on the cap and click another photo so now let's see the photo it's looking fantastic I think so the last not the least we want to photograph the neck level so for that I change the focus on the neck level and place the light at around 45 degree above the bottle and click the photo so this neck level is looking quite clean so we got all the photos we want 
let's jump into the photoshop and see how to edit those photos Just import one photo and now go to file scripts and load files into stacks browse all the photos you want and hit ok again hit ok so all the photos will be placed inside photoshop as individual layers now quickly let's rename them So here is a cool trick you can use, you don't need to create a invert mask for highlighting different areas, just click on the layer and change the blending mode to lighten, voila, so you got the highlighted part only. Now you can select the eraser tool and clean all the unnecessary parts you don't want. So again just click on the layer and change the blending mode to the lighten so the only highlighted parts will be visible so i have done the same technique with the upper highlighted parts and the lower highlighted parts and the neck highlighted parts and here for the room light select the layer and change the blending mode to lighten wow it's looking great so now let's move on the levels so for the level click on the layer and holding alt click here to make an invert mask and now go to the brush tool click on the brush tool make sure the foreground color is white holding control and right mouse button drag up and down to feather the mask and just paint on the level so the level will show up so it's looking pretty clean right it's looking pretty clean and for the neck level do the same technique as well so on the neck you can see there is a defect on the left side of the neck so for that select all the layers and click ctrl G to make a group and duplicate the group and hide this one and just click on the group one and right click and convert to smart object now it's converted to a smart object i always make a duplicate of the layers for backup and now go to selection tool and select from the middle of the bottle select the right portion and layer via copy hit ctrl t and flip horizontal and drag it to the left side and just align it to the lines of the bottle yeah we are good and select the eraser tool and remove the unnecessary areas drag the size down and remove the unnecessary areas So this is fixed, isn't it looking cool? So after all these things are done, so it's looking already great I think. So there are so many unnecessary dots and lines on the bottle, so these lines are making the bottle little bit dirty. So, so for that I selected the healing brush tool and removed all the unnecessary dots and lines on the bottle. Using healing brush tool and the clone stamp, I fix the level as well. So it's looking pretty clean. And now I went to the camera raw filter and did little bit color correction. So it's looking sharp and beautiful. So after color correcting the whole image, the final image looks something like this. And lastly I added some dodging on the highlighted parts of the bottle.
So this is our clean final image. Isn't it looking gorgeous? So I made a composite of this photo as well. Now I will show you how I made the composite. I added three water splash and I created this water splash and right clicked here and flip it vertical to make the reflection of the uh, water splash like this. So this is how I created the reflection of the water splash. And I created a shape mask of the bottle and underneath the shape mask I added two more water splashes. To make it more refreshing I added some water droplets on the surface of the bottle. So here you can see some water droplets. So this is how I composited this picture. So this is the before and after you can see. And here is the final image. So it's looking pretty gorgeous. What do you think? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you enjoyed and learned something from this video, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. I promise you won't regret. So if you do a product photo shoot like this, you can always tag me on Instagram at edizo 7 I will love to see your work. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay creative. Peace.